Hello everyone, my name is Dipendra and I welcome you all on the behalf of Creative Edge, which is also known as Design Haifa. In this video, we will talk about percentages. Before I begin, let's understand few things clearly. Well, in order to deal with questions based on percentages, you need to learn percentages to fraction conversions and vice versa. For example, whenever you are given something known as 1 by 2, you should treat it as 50%. I hope you are realizing that. How do you convert 1 by 2 into 50%? You simply multiply it by 100, right? And when you are given 50% and whenever you are asked to convert this 50 percentage into fraction, you divide it by 100. For example, if I were to ask you what will be the conversion of 1 by 3 into percentages, that will be 33.33. Right. So this is how you need to learn all these fractions to percentage conversions. These are quite simple. For example, if 1 by 2 is 50%, you can easily crack 1 by 4 is nothing but half of 1 by 2, which should be 25%. Right. Similarly, half of 1 by 4 should be 1 by 8, and that should be half of 25. That is clearly 12.5 percentage. Well, with the help of these fractions, some new percentages are, are also getting created, which are generally used in these questions. For example, if I triple 12.5, the triple of 12.5 is nothing but 37.5, right? So 37.5 percentages when asked in terms of fractions, it should be nothing but triple of 1 by 8 and triple of 1 by 8 is nothing but 3 by 8. So this is how you can convert them. However, there is always this standard technique that you divide that percentage by 100. There also you can convert it into a fraction or this is how you can remember these. Whichever way suits you, you just need to convert these percentages or fractions into the other format very quickly in the real examination. Well, after that, let's understand few more things. For example, whenever you are given two numbers or jabbi percentage decrease, percentage increase, your percentage change, your coin sa number, dusre number ka kitna percentage hai. Is par jabbi koi bhi based question aega, aap hamesha dhyan rakhe that rather than dealing with actual numbers, aap unke ratios par bhi kaam kar sakhe. I hope in the first lecture, you must have understood ratios pretty well. So I repeat my statement. For example, let's say I'm given a number 30 and I'm given another number as 50. Now if somebody is asking me that this 30 is how much percentage less than 50. So obviously one of the ways is doing this, that sir 30 on absolute scale is 20 less than 50, right? However, ab aap nikalenge ki that 20 is what percentage of 50? That will be the answer to the question which was 30 is how much percentage less than 50. Or else this question can be done in this manner as well, that 30 and 50, you need to convert first of all into ratios. So 30 is to 50 is nothing but 3 is to 5. So the question boils down to this, that this 3 is how much percentage less than 5? We all know on absolute scale, 3 is 2 less than 5 and less than what? Less than 5. So this 3 is being compared with 5. So when you observe percentage change, percentage increase or percentage decrease, you need to decide the denominator. You need to decide the base. So the base is always going to be the value with which a value, a certain value is being compared. So here 3 is asked that this 3 is how much percentage less than 5. So 3 is how much percentage less than 5 means the base or going is going to be the denominator is going to be this 5. So you are going to evaluate 2 upon 5. Now the one of the approaches could be you multiply it by 100 and then you can write its percentage conversion or at design IFA, we recommend you to remember 1 by 5 in terms of fractions is nothing but 20%. And if you have learned that, you can easily crack that 2 by 5 is nothing but simply 20% card double. That is clearly nothing but 40%. So I could have answered this that 30 is nothing but 40% less than 50. I hope you are realizing that instead of dealing with actual values, we can always perform operations on their ratios as well. There can be one more variety of question where you could be asked that this 50 is how much percentage more than 30. Now this time the question has changed a little. You need to understand this time I cannot say, sir, this 30 was 40 percentage less than 50. Hence 50 should be 40 percentage more than 30. No, it does not work that way. On percentages or while dealing with percentages, you need to remember that the base always gets changed and you need to take care of the base. Always remember that. For example, when you are asked that 50 is how much more than 30, then in this case, the base is going to be 30 because now 50 is being compared with 30. So with respect to 30, 50 is how much more than that. 
again i would repeat my words this particular problem can again be done on ratios so first of all 30 and 50 when converted into ratios becomes 3 to 5 now the question again boils down to this that this 5 is how much percentage more than this 3 so my question is this that 5 again 3 se 2 zyada hai however this time the base gets changed 5 is how much percentage more than 3 with respect to 3 this is being actually checked or compared so the base now is going to be 3 we all understand 1 by 3 is 33.33 so if 1 by 3 is 33.33 2 into 33.33 should be nothing but 66 0.66 percentage i hope you all are understanding how am i evaluating these percentages changes so 5 was 40 percent sorry 3 was 40 percent less than 5 and 5 is 66 percentage more than 3 well if you were asked that 3 is what percentage of 5 you would have simply done this that 3 is what percentage of 5 this is how we do at design hyper so 1 by 5 is 20 percent so 3 by 5 should be triple of 20 percent that is 60 percent so 30 is nothing but 60 percent of 50 well had they asked you that 50 is what percentage of 30 so you could have done it either this way that 5 is what percentage of 3 we all know 1 by 3 is 33.33 percentage so 5 into 33 should be somewhere around 166.66 percentage so this is how you can always work out the percentages if you have cracked the actual numbers or if you have converted the actual numbers into their corresponding ratios so always remember whether it is a question on percentage increase percentage decrease or any kind of questions based on percentages first of all try to convert those actual values into their ratio equivalent values right let's understand percentages better with the help of another question look at this question everyone in this question let's understand this question first of all let's read the language of the question and then we'll solve it together in a certain school 20 percent of the students are below eight years of age so there is a category of students who are less than eight years old and this population of these students is 20 percent now as soon as you see this 20 percent two things must strike your brain either it's percentage conversion or it's absolute conversion for example if 20 percent we are given convert it into fraction 20 percent is 1 by 5 or you could read it like 20 by 100 the significance of this 20 by 100 or 20 percent or 1 by 5 is this that if the denominator is the total number of students then this will be the number of students who are less than eight years age i repeat if there are total students on ratio scale if there are total students five in the school then the number of students who are less than eight years of age will be one now this is the significance of this 20 percent i repeat on percentage scale this 20 percent can be treated like this if in school mein total 100 students hai, so 20 students aise honge, jinki age eight years se kam hai. Or on ratio scale, this 20% when converted into fraction becomes 1 by 5. 1 by 5 ka significance hota hai ki agar total students mein ratio scale par assume karu ki us school mein 5 students hai, to ek student aisa hoga jiski age 8 saal se kam hai. You could have done it either like this or this. That is totally up to you. Proceeding further, what are we given next? The number of students above 8 years of age. So there are certain students who are above 8 years of age. They are 2 third of the number of students of eight years of age right and there is third category as well there are certain students who are of exactly eight years old right and the number of students who are eight years old are 48 please understand that and what are we told additionally that the number of students who are above eight years of age are two-third of the students who are of eight years old right so this these students who are eight years old are two-third of students who are age eight years hai. So this is 3 ka 48 16 times and 68 ka 2 is nothing but 32. So I have two data to both actual absolute scale. Par hai. That 8 years old total 48, 8 years old students are 32 and those 8 years old they are 20% of the total students. Now that is given on percentages, right? First of all, you need to understand. Can I say, if sir, ye 8 saal se kam umre ke bachche hain 20%. So 8 saal ke aur 8 saal se zada ke bachche jo honge, wo 80% honge. Everyone realizing that data? So whatever this number is, this number is equal to 80%. Now please understand, 48 plus 32, 32, 50, 50 plus 30, 80. So fortunately, please understand, 80% turns out to be equal to 80 student. So can I conclude that 1% will be equal to 1 student? So if I'm asked, ki saal se kam umre ke kitne hai, so on percentage scale, if it was 20%, and 1% relates with one student, so 20% 
must relate with 20 students. Everyone understanding that? So what were we asked? What is the total number of students in their school? So shall I say that there are 20 students who are below 8 and there are 80 students who are either 8 or more than 8. So the total number of students will be 20 plus 80, which is nothing but 100. I hope you must have understood the explanation and the solution to this question. Let's understand percentages better with the help of one more example. Pay attention everyone. This is again going to be a really good question, which will give you a lot of insights of percentages. Look at this question. In an election between two candidates, one got 55% of the total valid votes. If you are not able to crack 55%, what you'll always do is write this 55% as, or rather treat this 5% as 1 by 20. I hope you all know that. So 55 is nothing but what? 11 times of 5%. So this 55% can be written as 11 by 20. Or if you are not able to do that, you can always do this as well. That if you don't know how to convert 55% into fraction, what you can do is you can write it like 55 by 100. When this is divided by 5, this is basically 11 and this is nothing but 20. So this is also how you can convert it into fractions. I hope this particular thing is understood by all the participants. Please understand. In an election between two candidates, one candidate got 55%. Now 55% on fractions is 11 by 20. Of the total votes, of the total valid votes, so if this, this number written 20 in the denominator is considered as the total valid votes, then this number written in the numerator should be treated as the total votes received by candidate 1. I hope this particular thing is understood by all the participants. Well, continuing further, the next term we are told is this, that 20% of the votes were invalid. Now, what is the significance of 20%? Dekho, dhyan se suno. If 5% is 1 by 20, to apne interchange kar sakte ho. Yani 20% has to be 1 by 5, which means 20% is 1 by 5. Now, what are we told here? 20% of the total votes were invalid. So, jitne bhi votes poll huye hai, uska 20% invalid te. Well, agar 100 votes poll hote, to 20 invalid nikalte. यानी मैं इसको ऐसे भी अज्यूम कर सकता हूं कि सर अगर टोटल वोट्स जो अगर पोल हुए हैं वो 5 होते तो उसमें से एक वोट इनवैलिड था आई होप यू आर एबल टू क्रैक दीस नंबर्स आई विल राइट दीस नंबर्स इन अ स्ट्रक्चर्ड मैनर एज ऑफ नाउ आई एम जस्ट ट्राइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द क्वेश्चन टू यू प्रोसीडिंग फर्दर व्हाट आर वी टोल्ड एडिशनली नाउ दिस इज गिवन समथिंग ऑन एक्चुअल इफ द टोटल नंबर ऑफ वोट्स वर 7500 नाउ दिस इज समथिंग ऑन एक्चुअल विल डील विद दिस लेटर the number of valid votes that the other candidate, the second candidate received, that is what we are asked. Please understand. I'll structure the entire data. Total votes polled. There were some valid votes. There were some invalid votes. Out of the valid votes, candidate 1 received some votes. And the remaining votes must have been received by candidate 2. I'll try to structure the entire data on ratio scale first. Then we'll compare it with the actual scale. Then I hope you remember from the first lecture, by comparing its ratio it's with its actual equivalent value, I'll compare or figure out the multiplying factor and with the help of multiplying factor, I'll figure out the answer. Please understand, total valid votes, agar total valid votes jo poll huye hain, wo hain 5. So I hope you are understanding, is mein se ek vote invalid tha. Agar ek vote invalid tha, 5 vote total poll hote hain, ek vote discard ho jata hai. So total valid votes, I hope you are realizing 4 honge. Everyone getting that? Now, there's one more data given to us, which is this, that out of total valid votes, 11 va votes, out of total 20 valid votes, 11 votes were received by candidate 1. So, if I have a other ratio scale, if there valid votes hote 20, if this scale par valid votes are 4, then I 20 on scale. Par so, if there scale par total valid votes hote 20, then candidate 1 is receiving 11 votes. I hope this much particular data is clearly understood by everyone. Can I claim or can I crack this much particular data as well, ki sir agar total valid votes hai 20 or candidate 1 is receiving 11, so candidate 2 must be receiving the remaining, the rest of the votes, so 20 may say 11 candidate 1 ko milta hai, so 9 votes must be received by candidate 2. I hope this much data is also understood by all the participants. Now, what am I going to do is, I'll scale this data. By scaling means, I'll see, this is something which is common there. Right. So scaling, I hope you remember from the first lecture, I'll multiply this 20 above to all these values and I'll multiply this 4 below to all these values. I hope you know this process of scaling and this 4 and 20 will be multiplied with each other. So this process of scaling suggests that 20 into 5 would be 100, 20 into 4 would be 80, 20 into 1 should be 20. Now this 4 into 11 should be 44 and this 4 into 9 should be 36. So on absolute scale, if the candidate, if the total votes polled were 100, 
Out of 180 were valid votes. Yeah. Out of those valid votes, 20 went invalid. Out of 20, out of this, these 80 valid votes, candidate 1 received 44. So 80 minus 44 has to be 36. So this is how we have worked out the data on F complete ratio scale. These were two different ratio scales and I have brought them on a common, on a same ratio scale. I have brought all the data on a same page. However, instead of doing this, the total number of votes we are given is 7500. So instead of taking it as 100, rather on actual scale, see this is your ratio scale and now this data is basically given on actual scale. So the total number of votes which were polled in this particular election were actually 7500. And I hope you remember the multiplying factor. Multiplying factor is a term which you get by dividing this actual value by its equivalent ratio value. So 7500 when divided by 100 results into 75. Now 75 is the multiplying factor. The beauty of multiplying factor, I hope you can recall or recollect from the last lecture is this, that this 75 remains same for all the ratios. So kisi bhi ratio ka equivalent actual figure out karne ke liye, aapko bas us particular ratio value se is 75 ko multiply karne ki zarat hai. What are we asked? We were asked the total valid votes the other candidate got was. To mujhse poochha ja raha hai ki second candidate ne total votes kitne receive kiya hai. So mera answer hoga this 36 into this same multiplying factor 75. Everyone please understand, I am going to multiply 36 by 75. Instead of doing this, can I do something else? Please understand. Either you can multiply it like this or you could have done something else. I'll multiply these two values and I'll figure the answer out. Or what I'm trying or thinking of doing is this, ki 75 ko anyway, wo approach kaam nahi karega, wo kisi aur multiple mein kaam karega. You simply need to multiply this. So by multiplying these two values, I hope you can easily calculate the total number of votes received by candidate 2. I hope this approach makes some sense in your brain and you are able to understand how are we solving these questions. With that, I believe we have gotten a lot of clarity on percentages and I assume in the next class, we'll be discussing some other topic with more clarity. Thank you so much everyone. Take care.